and welcome to Classy Handmade. So today I will be showing you how to make Hello Kitty. So I will be showing you with a number four weight yarn. So you will need the contrasting color for your dress and part of the body. You're going to need white for the Hello Kitty. You're going to need some black for embroidering. You will also need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 hook. You're going to need a stitch marker. I am going to use a 16 millimeter eyes and I'm going to use safety eyes or you can embroider the eyes. So let's get started. So and you will also need some polyfill. The original pattern was made in plush yarn. But today I'm going to do for demonstration purposes. And not only that, I don't have any more plush white yarn and I can't seem to find any. So I'm going to work it up so you can see what the pattern in a number four weight yarn. So let's get started. Grab your white yarn and your hook. And we're going to make a magic ring or a magic loop into your magic loop you're going to put eight single crochet so one two three four four five six seven eight pull your end of your yarn to close the ring you could either use a piece of yarn or you can use a stitch marker i'm going to use a piece of yarn to mark my stitch so for round two we're going to increase into each stitch for a total of 16 single crochet so increase is putting two single crochet into each stitch so that's one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten sorry guys ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so for round two, we have 16 stitches. Our Hello Kitty head is growing. So for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and an increase. So one single crochet, increase. So increase. So for round three we are going to have 24 single crochet so one single crochet and an increase so we are increasing eight times for round four we're going to do two single crochet one two increase eight times for a total of 32 stitches one two increase increase so we are on round four and we have 32 stitches so for round five we're going to do three single crochet and an increase So one, two, three, increase. And at the end of round 
five we're going to have th 40 stitches one two three increase and this is our last increase so we did five rounds and at round five we have 40 stitches so from round six to twelve we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch for a total of six rounds so go ahead and do six rounds of 40 stitches and i'll meet you back at the end of round 12. So I'm on my last round, round 12, before I started to decrease. So at this time your head will look like a half of a, like a hat like this, like a little bowl. So for round 13, we're going to do three single crochet, three single crochet and a decrease, one, two, three. And we are going to decrease, but we're going to do an invisible decrease. Invisible decrease is where you grab your first, your front loop. So you grab your two front loop. I have two here. Then I'm going to yarn over, pull through both loop. Then yarn over and pull through. I'm going to show you that again so I'm going to do three single crochet invisible decrease so you can go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back at the end of round 13 where you will have 32 single crochet so for round 14 so we just did wrong 13 we have 32 so for wrong 14 we're going to do two single crochet and a decrease eight times for a total of 24 single crochet one two decrease and you repeat this seven more times and you will have 24 stitches on wrong 14. So at the end of round 14, you have 24 single crochet. We're going to take some polyfill and you can start stuffing your head. If you're not going to embroider the eyes, you can also go ahead and insert your eyes. So we will insert our eyes between round I'm consulting my notes round 9 and 10 so let's get that I will insert our eyes and move on from there so I forgot to tell you because I made the original pattern in a bulky weight yarn you will I use a 60 millimeter eyes but because I'm using a four weight yarn the eyes need to be smaller so I'm going to use a number an eight millimeter eyes 
for my number four weight yarn. So I insert my eyes between round nine and ten. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to insert between nine and ten. And make sure that you your eyes are equally spaced. I don't think that's equally spaced, so I'm going to bring it over a bit. And I want like eight stitches between my eyes. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to bring it in a little. So I'm going to move this one in. And I want to make sure that I move this one in too. So I think it look even enough. I tell you the truth. I like to embroider my eyes sometimes because when I stuff it, I could know exactly where the placement is and how easy it is to insert your eyes and make sure it's even. So let's see if we have eight stitches and this look high and low. So I'm going to move this one up a bit because it's between eight and nine. Sorry, nine and ten. So let's see if we have it between nine and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I want eight stitches between the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to go over one more. Seven. Eight. So I, I'm going to put on my back because I'm satisfied with my placement. I normally put some glue at the back of my eyes. So I put some of this jewel glue on my I'm a groomy eyes and it dry clear so it works fine and I stuff put some stuff in in my head so what we're going to do we're going to stuff as we go so we are on round so we are on round 15 now for round 15 we are going to do two single crochet And a decrease and at the end of round 15 we're going to have 18 single crochet so let's go ahead and do that one two decrease are we going to do that six times one two decrease so go ahead and continue doing two single crochet then a decrease at the end of round 15 we're going to have 18 single crochet This is our last decrease and round 15 and we should have 18 stitches okay so before you we're going to fasten off our white yarn so go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch fasten off your yarn Cut the white yarn, set it aside for when you're ready to use it. 
so for round 16 we are going to join the color that we're going to use for the body which in basically the dress because we're crocheting the body part now we're going to do join your yarn make your slip loop put it on your hook and we are going to put two single crochet into each stitch so let's pull out because we're using the I'm using the pink yarn for my marking yarn I'm going to take that out and maybe use this black one so let's start put two single crochet into each stitch okay guys I'm sorry about that it's not two single crochet into each stitch we have 18 stitches we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase and that will be on round 16 so and at the end of round 16 we will have 24 single crochet so join your pink yarn or whatever color you're using for your dress and we're going to do one single crochet two single crochet increase one two increase and we are going to do this a total of six times six increase and we will have 24 stitches at the end of round 16 but continue stuffing as you go For round 17, you're going to do three single crochet and then an increase for a total of 30 stitches. One. I'm going to mark my stitch. One. Two. Three. Increase. So we're going to do this in a total of six increase and we will have 30 stitches at the end of round 17. See our body starting to form with the little dress so we finished round 17 and we have 30 stitches so we're going to continue work increasing and we're going to do four single crochet for round 18 and an increase at the end you should have 36 stitches now we're going to do this repeat it we're going to do this increase six times so one two three four and an increase at the end of round 18 you should have 36 stitches so round 18 we have 36 stitches so for five rounds from wrong nine to wrong so for five wrong from wrong 19 to wrong 23 we're just going to go around and put one single crochet into each stitch so go ahead and put do five rounds of 36 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of wrong 23 so I finish round 23 I finished my five round from round 
9 to 23 so for round 24 you're just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around so you're going to do 36 single crochet in the back loop and in let me show you the back loop let me zoom in a bit here this is our stitches here this the front loop is the loop closest to you and the back loop is the loop that is farthest away so what you're going to do you're just going to insert into the back loop and do a single crochet and this front loop that we're leaving here on round 24 is we're going to use it later to make our skirt so just 36 single crochet into the back loop and I'll meet you back at the end of round 24 so we're at our last stitch right here in the back loop we're going to insert our hook pull up a loop but we're not going to finish the stitch we're going to take our white yarn and we're going to make a slip knot and place the slip knot on our hook so make a slip knot and place it on the hook and we are going to pull through those two loops on our needle on our hook okay so you can cut your your pink yarn or your yarn for your dress whatever color you're using tie the white yarn and the pink yarn together the two ends or you can crochet over it so we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 36 single crochet and that will be round that's going to be round 25 so round 25 is just working with the white yarn one single crochet into each stitch for a total of 36 stitches so we finish our 36 stitches in white so we're going to make the legs now so we want to make sure that we are in that the eyes is in the right place and that we are sorry we want to split this piece evenly so we have 36 stitches and we are going to split it evenly so we're going to have 18 stitches for each leg so We're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Place a stitch marker to mark your eighteen stitch. So this is our eighteen stitches. Okay. So from here to here is 18 stitches. But we want to make sure that we are. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But we want to make sure it's in the middle. So we are going to make sure that it's in the middle because we want to have it half and so the head is in the right place the ears is in the right place basically the eyes are in the right place so as you can see here as much as this here we count is 18 stitches we need to go over here to make sure that we have so go ahead and we need like one, two, three, four more stitches to make sure we're in the middle. 
So go ahead and crochet one, two, three, four. Okay, let's see where we are. So I crocheted three stitches to get to where I need to be to make my to make my legs evenly and that also that the eyes are in the right place. So here is going to be my new beginning. So I'm going to go across to my turn your piece like this and you count from where you are where your stitch marker is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so here is where my next stitch marker is going to be but what you can do is use the same stitch marker and just so I'm going to open that a little bit okay so this is where my leg is going to be so I had to do three stitches to make sure I get my legs evenly so you're going to single crochet so you are at the back you're going to come to your 18th stitch on the front where you mark and do a single crochet so you're going to continue single crocheting all the 18 stitches so one two three three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen so remember we did three stitch to get where we supposed to be so we have 15 and these three gonna make 15 16 17 18 because if you go over these three stitches again so here will be our new beginning because I did three stitches to get let me zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm explaining here if I only go over here to those three stitches it's going to make this wider white piece wider because I already did three stitches to get to the middle where I need to be so here at the back is going to be our new beginning where I did that so we're going to start and we're going to do 16 18 stitches single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18. So you see we have our 18 stitches. And you can see they're all, the white is all even. Okay. So we are going to do two more rows of 18 stitches. So we should have our four rows of 18 single crochet. So go ahead and do two more rows of 
18 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of round four. But before you do that, go ahead, get some polyfill and start stuffing your body. Do not stuff so much that you your stuffing get caught in your crochet hook. So we will stuff as we go. So this so far, this is how our little kitty is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my two more rows and I'll meet you back at the end of row four of the leg. So I finish my legs and I did four rounds of 18 single crochet all together. So go ahead, grab your polyfill and continue to stuff. So you're going to stuff your leg and your body and make sure you like the way it is. So what we're going to do for round This will be round five of the leg. We're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. At the end of round five, you will have 12 single crochet. So one, do an invisible decrease throughout the pattern. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Last decrease for round six. We're just going to decrease six times. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Six. Move a stitch mark and do your last decrease. So we have six decrease. Slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And at this time on wrong six, you will have six single crochet. Cut your yarn and leave about a four inch tail so you can close up this six stitches. So if your leg is not stuffed enough, just go ahead, you can stuff it from this side and make sure it is stuffed properly. So we're going to get our tapestry needle. So thread your tapestry needle and weave in and out of the remaining six stitches. To close up the bottom of your leg so we're going to pull that make sure it's pulled properly and what I like to do is just press it down a little bit like that you can fluff up your yarn make sure you have enough yarn in that leg then take your yarn needle and just go back through And you can fasten off we're going to work our second leg so grab the white yarn and make a loop place the loop on your hook and we are going to work from the side of our hello kitty for the second leg so insert into the side and we are going to single crochet 18 stitches So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, When you get to the crotch, you will have to kind of like bring your yarn over. So 10, 11, to attach the back to the front, 12, 13, 14, 15, so 15, 16, 17, 18. We're going to continue doing three more rounds of 18 single crochet. So from round three, so that's so three more rounds. So from round two to round four of just one single crochet into each of those 18 stitches. And I'll meet you back at the end of round four. So we finish our four rounds. We're going to stuff our leg. So grab your polyfill and go ahead and stuff your leg. Make sure you stuff it. So because when you start closing this up, there is nowhere for you to stuff it more. So just go ahead and make sure the body and So I finished stuffing my legs. And I'm going to close it up now. And you follow the same steps for what you did for the first part of the legs. So for round five, you're going to do one single crochet and a decrease six times for a total of 12 stitches at the end of round five. Then for round six, you're going to do six decreases and then you're going to have six stitches. And I'll meet you back at the end when I finish, finish my second leg. So I finish my second leg. I'm going to I weaving my bottom and close it up and I'm going to take that yarn and I'm going to take it and with my needle tapestry needle and I'm going to close up that leg in the middle there where you have that little hole so just you would probably just need like two stitches to close it up like that and then you're just going to fasten off weaving your yarn tail sorry about that and I am done with my body so we're going to move on to making the little arms so set your little body and this is how it looks and we're going to move on to the arms so for the arms you're going to get your white yarn make a magic ring into your magic ring you're going to put six single crochet one two three four so for the arms what i did i for round one i put six single crochet finish my six single crochet for round one round two you're going to increase into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to go ahead and put two single crochet into each stitch That's four, five, six, seven, 
8 9 10 11 12 So for so far <laughs> around 3 to 6 we're going to do four rounds of just 12 single crochet in white so I'm going to go and work my four rounds of 12 single crochet and I'm going to meet you back at the end of round six so I finished my four rounds of 12 single crochet and I have two loops on the hook so this is my last stitch I'm going to finish so I'm going to grab my contrasting color which is pink and I'm going to join my pink yarn here I'm going to work 12 single crochet in pink so at this time you can cut your white yarn because you won't need it anymore and I like to cut my white yarn leave and then join the two ends together that's what I like doing to give it a little extra security of not you know loosing out so I have two loops on the hook and I'm going to join my contrasting color which is pink and I'm going to do one single crochet into each of those 12 stitches with my pink yarn so for round seven just go ahead and do one single crochet into each stitch so we're going to continue working with our pink yarn so for round eight and nine we're just going to continue doing one single crochet into each stitch and we will have three rows of 12 in our pink yarn so I'll reach you back at the end of round nine so we finish our rows of 12 single crochet so we had round nine we're going to take a little bit of polyfill and we're going to just stop the bottom of your arm up to where the white part is so you don't need much stuffing just stuff the white part and this is our arms we're going to decrease so we have 12 stitches we're going to decrease to six stitches so we're going to do one two three so this is be around 10 just go and do it six degrees and at the end of round 10 you will have end of round 10 you have six stitches so for round 11 we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch for a total of six stitches on round 11 six so I finish round 11 so we're going to fold our piece in half like this for the two ends together and we're going to single crochet through this top three because when we fold it in half we're going to have three stitches and we're just going to go through both ends just single crocheting it close fasten off cut your yarn and leave a long enough tail about a four inch tail to sew your arms onto the body so here I have my two arms. I'm going to take my little kitty, yellow kitty here. I'm going to thread my tapestry needle and I'm going to sew the arms onto the side right 
like one row. Let's see. So one, two. So onto the second row on the pink. Just make sure, and you can use some pins to make sure that your arm is in the right place. So let's grab some pins and we're just going to pin it and make sure it's in the right. At, when you're doing amigurumi, your best friends are pins to make sure that your pieces are. I was saying, I'm going to use pins to make sure that my arms are attached properly. Sorry for reaching across. So grab your pin and I'm going to secure my arms and make sure that they are placed in the right place. So remember on two rows down, so on the second row from the neck where you did. So it would basically be on row on the 24 stitch row. So row two down from the neck here. So you count one, two, and you place your arm. I tried to use that pin, it's not working. So I'm going to place my arm sorry guys so this is what it looks like so I think I am satisfied with it I look at it and I think it this one need to come a little bit more to the front See why I said to pin it? So just imagine if you didn't pin it and you just sew it on. Then you will have to find a way to. And I'm going to move this one a bit more to the front. You will have to find a way how to take out those stitches. So. Pin before you stitch permanently. So I think my arms are good. And I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to. Thread my tapestry needle. Let's move all these things out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And I am going to go through my stitch first and pick up a stitch right through there. Then go through my arms at the top. You see when you crochet the top of the arm, it makes it easier for you to stitch. You don't have to make, you know, wondering, am I picking up both stitches? Because you already closed the top of the arm. So it's just one stitch at the top. So it's easy for you to just stitch the arms or any part on if you. But mostly I use it for the arms. Okay, so. I'm almost to where I should be for my arms. And I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. And I'm just going to fasten off. So make sure sometimes there is a little extra stitch there. Just make sure you go through it so you can attach it properly into the body. And so... This is what our little arm is looking like attached so you can go ahead and attach your the next one and i'll meet you back where we will just do the skirt and the ears so we're going to make the ears so grab your white yarn you're going to make a magic ring into your magic ring you're going to put four single crochet one two three four close your magic ring for round two so that's round one four single crochet in a magic ring for round two you're going to increase for a total of eight single crochet so one two three four five 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Round three, we are going to increase with four times. We're going to do one single crochet, increase for a total of 12 stitches on round three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So just push your ears out like this and this is what it's going to look like then we are going to do just one round of 12 single crochet for round four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off repeat the first repeat the for the second ear sorry <laughs> Leave a long enough tail for sewing on. So I'm going to take my little Hello Kitty and I'm going to attach the ears. So from the middle of the head, you're going to count three stitches, three rows down. So we are going to attach our ears to round three and six. So to six. One, two, three. So right here, and we're going to use this pin to make sure that we have our ears where we want it to be. Then we're going to count three, four, five, six. So right here it should be. Then we're going to do the same thing. One, two, three, right here. Then we're going to three, four, five, six so here is where we're going to look at it we're going to take our ears and we're going to put it there with the pins so just grab your ears and attach it with the pin to make sure that it's in the right place again and so that's where we have it right now i know maybe i should put a little black fabric behind this let me show you i have a little because here so here you can see because white on white sometimes it makes it you can't see clearly what i'm doing so between three so i think that look fine but and i see it's like from the top of the eyes one two three four five one two three four so this little one here need to come in a little bit so four stitches away from the eyes one two three four a little bit white here so four stitches away from the eyes i place my ears you just look because we all have different tensions and so on so sometimes you know things will be so just watch and that's why you use the pins to make sure you pin your ears so then you're going to grab your tapestry needle and you're going to sew your ears on so we're going to hold our head like that 
remove the first pin and go into your stitches so hold it with your hand to make sure you don't misplace where you place your ears and we're just going to go through the ears and we're just going to move up through the stitches you can do like that and just make sure you're grabbing both pieces okay just keep it where it's supposed to be because sometimes just holding it like that you could shift it out of place so let's look i think it's in place so you can remove the top one because you already know stitch the bottom so it's going to stay or if you're not sure you could just remove it but take it out of the ears and just put it where you know it's supposed to be so you know you're in a straight line then go to the next stitch oh sorry guys go to the next stitch and sew through go to the next stitch and sew through so i'm going to that's my last stitch just going to make sure that i let me see one two three so this is my last stitch right here and it's right in place so you're going to repeat the same process for the second age and i'll meet you back where we will just attach the skirt and then we're going to do our embellishment of the whiskers and the nose and we will be done with our little hello kitty so go ahead and work on your next side of your ears and i'll meet you back when i finish so I finished showing all my both of my ears and my arms and everything, but I want to do the in nose. So grab some yellow yarn and your tapestry needle, and we're going to go like one row down here. And we're going to use like we're going to measure our stitches and see how much we have from both eyes so one two three four five six seven eight so let's see i use four stitches to do my nose so i'm just going to go around those four stitches a couple of times until i'm satisfied with my nose So we're just going to insert that little bit of yarn inside there or you can use it to fasten off so we're going to use leave it at the side okay and you're going to just go around those four stitches that's two three and just kind of like spread it out a bit you know like that that's going to be four so i think i like with four but i'm going to do one more but i'm not going to go through i'm just going to bring my yarn over like this at the bottom and i'm going to take this and tie it with this like that make sure it's at the side we're going to double knot it and then i'm just going to go over the knot and go to the head and pull it inside the head so like that okay so i could hide that knot in the head so just pull it and fluff so we want our nose to be so that's our little nose then when you finish you just cut off the yarn and put that aside because you won't use it again we're going to take our pink and this is our last step of our little hello kitty here we're going to turn our hello kitty backside up 
and we're going to join our yarn. So find the middle bit right between here and we're going to join our yarn by chaining three. One, two, three. Chain three does not count as a stitch. We're just going to put two double crochet into each stitch. So this is just, remember I said that the chain three does not count as a stitch, but I want to put two double crochet. So just put for now one double crochet into the first stitch with the chain three. And then we're going to just go around and put two double crochet into each of those 36 stitches. So go ahead and put two double crochet into each stitch. And when you get around to join your skirt, I'll reach you back when you finish and you are at your 36 stitches at the end here to join. I'll meet you back there. So I'm finishing up my last stitch. And remember the first stitch that we did, we put one chain three and a double crochet. So into that stitch to join, we're just going to put one double crochet into that same stitch with the chain three and the double crochet then we're going to just slip through slip stitch between the chain three and the double crochet to fasten off fasten off slip stitch and fasten off and cut your yarn and weave in your ends so this is what our little hello kitty looks like so the pattern was originally written for a plush number six weight yarn so you can use a number six weight yarn to make your hello kitty bigger this is just for tutorial purpose that i did it in the small yarn and because i couldn't find any white plush yarn at the time when i want to do the tutorial so thank you for joining me and thank you i hope you like this tutorial it was easy for you to understand and you will continue to like share and subscribe you can share this on my facebook group or instagram and i will continue to bring out little patterns for you I think this is cute if you want to make it for Valentine. You could even make it in red and white. So, oh, but don't let's forget. We're forgetting the whiskers. The most important thing. Hello Kitty cannot go without our whiskers. So grab some black yarn. And we're going to embroider our whiskers. Okay, sorry about that. Almost forget. Until I look at her little face and notice that something is missing. And what's missing on little kitty? It's our whiskers. So we are going to take, take our tapestry needle. And we are going to go. Where does Hello Kitty have her little whiskers? So, but she have three little whiskers on her face. I'm going to go like one row under her eyes. And I'm going to embroider three little whiskers over about one, two, three, four, about five stitches. In and out like that. And you don't have to go through you could just go down to the other I'll show you when I I'm going to go and do the other side whisker and show you what I mean so you can just go 
go there up there and tie it off I think all of her whiskers are normally the same size so uh, so I'm going to take the tapestry needle and carry it over to the other side to embroider the other whiskers gonna cut this off because I already tie so get your tapestry nail and we are one row under the eyes about one stitch away from the eyes so I have to go so one stitch away from the eyes I think that's good and I went over one two three four five stitches one two three four five stitches and then instead of coming back through here, just go down and go to the next row. And just repeat the same process. Go down to the next row. And do five. And here you go. If you want to give Hello Kitty some little eyelashes, you can just use the same yarn too. To give her some eyelashes here. Does Hello Kitty have eyelashes? I don't think Hello Kitty had eyelashes. So I'm just going to put, I'm not going to give her any eyelashes. I'm just going to fasten off my yarn. Sorry guys, no I look kitty eyelashes. So I'm gonna do like that, go under my stitch, go through this loop, make a little knot, and then put the yarn needle in the head and just pull. And then that stitch is like that. And you can fasten off. I tend to hold my little amabroomies when I'm crocheting them. A little tight <laughs> and sometimes they end up misshaped so at that time what I do I get one of my knitting needles and I would just go and pull out the stuffing you know like fluff the stuffing I shouldn't say pull out the stuffing fluff the stuffing where I want them to go and also if you are making something and the stuffing seem a little flat that's what I use my yarn crochet sorry guys knitting needle to do just to pull it out and make it neat so here is my finished little hello kitty but hello kitty need a little something here what does hello kitty missing our little bow so let's make our bow so grab your yarn your pink yarn or whatever yarn you use for the dress and chain one two three four five and we are going to do one single crochet in the second chain from hook one two three four so we have four single crochet chain one and turn and we're going to do this until we get a desired length that we can fold in half to make a bow. So however big you want your bow to be, go ahead and work that amount of stitches and I'll meet you back. I am working this here with you. So I am going to do about 20 rows and see how long it's going to be and then I'm going to come back so go ahead and work up to 20 rows and we will reach back at the end of the 20 rows so I did 20 rows of four single crochets but if you are doing the if you are using a chunky yarn you need to adjust your stitches because the chunky, if you do 20 rows of the chunky yarn, the bow will probably be too big. But what I'll do, I'll work up the chunky yarn and I'll give you the exact number of stitches you need to make for your bow. 
or if not you can just work how many rows you think it's best and see how big your bow will you will like your bow anyhow i did my 20 rows i'm going to grab my tapestry needle and i'm going to sew my two ends together to make like a so grab your two ends put it together and just sew through it so we're making like a ring you know and then when we finish sewing the ends together we're going to create our bow for this so hello kitty is being dressed up so we're going to take the ring and we're going to press it like that so see we're going to make sure that it's in half that it's equal and we're going to take our yarn that we just sew with and we're going to just weave in and out of the middle to cinch it like that and then just pull so when you pull the, the yarn that you just cinch it's gonna make a bow then you can just wrap it around like that one two three pull make sure you're pulling to cinch the middle okay then take the ends and tie them together okay so this is what our bow look like we're going to take our Hello Kitty and we're going to go through right next to the ears and attach the bow So just make sure your bow. So let's keep this yarn to the front. Make sure we go through the bow and go through the head. I mean, I'm trying to put it in a good position so you can see what I'm doing. And just pull and there's our thing and then we just tie it so there's our hello kitty and you can just weave in make sure you if you're gonna make this for a child make sure you're stitching it on tight enough to where it won't just come loose So I go ahead, make sure, one thing you do, make sure that you don't go through the back while you're sewing the ears on. Sorry, <laughs> your bow on, you know, so it can show. And then you just weave in. I always weave in so I could have a little bit in there to, you know, secure for security purposes. And there is our little Hello Kitty, guys. Look how cute she looks. You can just make these in all different colors. And just use the big chunky yarn or follow the same concept to make your Hello Kitty bigger. So thank you again. This is it. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you like it, share it, and so on. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you.